Um, we have a ton of new players, capable players. We are very, very deep in almost every position, which is good. Um, so there's natural competition within. Uh, and I think that's a good thing because we are looking at a very, very tough schedule. Yeah, you get some of the, you know, you look at some of the preseason polls. I know you guys don't really care about that kind nah. of stuff, but you don't, you know, is that kind of based off of last year, maybe a little bit disappointing for you guys where you're getting a few votes, but that's about it right now? Well, I think that's what, what we deserve at this time. So, you know, you have to earn that. And uh, you're correct. I mean, every time in, in the beginning of the year, uh, you're basically judged on how you finish your previous year and it's really no indicator because people don't know every year a team changes you know so we have a we have a quite a large turnaround within our squad so we could field an entirely new team uh, technically uh, and so nobody knows about the strength and quite frankly I don't know either right now. <laughs> Omar, talk about the strengths of this team, what are they? Uh, I think that we will be more cohesive this year in, in terms of functioning as a group, whereas we had some individual talent last year more so. Um, we harped on the fact that we need to uh, work together on the field to accomplish our goals. So I think with our leadership group, with our seniors, uh, and with the experience of the players that we do have, uh, that can be accomplished. When you look at last year, you know, the home record was pretty impressive. What was it that was maybe the difference between you guys at home and you guys on the road last year? Well, it's a. It's not easy to travel because you know we are flying commercially, so um, we always have a stopover. You know, sometimes it's a almost a full day that we are on the road until we get to where we need to be. Uh, and then it's a matter of uh, you know comfort. Um, we have to get used used to being uncomfortable and still performing. And at home, to play it in this venue, obviously you're very comfortable. Uh, and it's great to have that crowd behind you. But when you're going on the road, sometimes you play tough teams in front of 50 people. You know, so there's no atmosphere, but the teams are still very good. And there's a natural letdown, and, and we have to combat that. We have to prepare the team, I have to prepare the team better uh, to compensate and make sure that we keep our standard high and that we play very consistent home or away. Do you use last year being left out as motivation? Do you want them to use it as motivation for this year? Uh, I don't think it's motivation. I, I think, you know, everybody recognized that it was a bummer year for us and, and that we did not perform to our standards. I don't think we have to remind anybody about that. Uh, our standards are always, always very high. So, you know, our motivation actually should be to win a national title, regardless of what happened last year. Is it easier with some of the international ties that you have to be able to flip a roster as, as quickly as, you know, as maybe this group needed it this year? Well, this year we are in a unique position that we have 12 foreign players. I never had 12 foreign players on any of my teams, so uh, that's new. But you know, looking at the kids, they're all quality kids. They're all really, really good individuals and they're really good soccer players. So they blend in nicely. You know, I don't, I don't mind having a, a large roster like that and I don't mind having a large influx of international flair because everybody brings something a little bit different. The Europeans play very different compared to the Americans and the South Americans play again very different compared to the Europeans. So, you know, you, you, you blend that all together and you, you have a good mix of uh, individual talent and it uh, gives you a little bit of variety and diversity. Why, 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 uh, why build a roster so big? What, what are the benefits? What, what are you hoping to, to see from we, we take them if they want to come. So, you know, it's, it's like the, there were a lot of players that initially we, we weren't pursuing very hard, but then we looked a little bit deeper and the kids kept coming back at us and said if, if we want to be there we want to be with your group we like the way you guys play and so we made it a match you know but we are always checking for red flags and if there are any red flags on any of the guys we back off automatically you know but there were no red flags and so you know we decided hey next year we have a large turnaround because we have a large senior class in 2019 so it's always good to have a year ahead already you know, a large group, so you, you're not so stressed when you have a, a bigger group leaving and having to replace a ton of starters right. or seniors. Is, okay, I was just going to ask you, I mean, you, you mentioned competition off the top. I got to mm -hmm. imagine that 
the competition is going to be pretty fierce here over the next couple of weeks with so many players vying for spots and playing time. Well, it will level itself all out. You know, we have three preseason games. We start at UNO on Saturday um, with our preseason game. We can almost play two full squads in that match uh, to give us a real good indicator as to who can do what and, and where can we play players and, and, you know, how versatile are they in their individual positions. Uh, so it's it's going to be good, you know. We will, by the time we will open up with Clemson, I think we will be much smarter than we are now. Omar, do you know? I don't know if you know Bob Warming. Well, I, I do, Bob. Yeah. I do know Bob Warming very well. Okay, just the matchup and yeah. him being back in town. What's that going to be like on Saturday night? Well, I think it's great that he's back in town, and uh, he, he had some roots here, and uh, his family lived here, and and his daughter is still living here, so. Uh, the fact that he came back, you know, I, I welcome, obviously. Um, I have a great relationship with Bob. I respect him for what he has done. I mean, look at this place here that, that he built from scratch uh, and uh, what he has done with the program. So I'm looking forward to playing UNO and I'm looking forward to starting a series and uh, getting things going again. How important is that to kind of keep soccer alive in this community when you got the two Division One teams playing each other? Well, I think it, it can be a good thing, you know, if it's if it's done properly, if it's done in the right way. And, um, you know, I'm, I know that with Bob at the helm that there will be no issues and, uh, you know, we can look forward to scheduling something, whether that be preseason or whether, whether that be actually a counting game. Right. We've been together since last December, plus a big group of guys coming, coming in this fall, so... Um, for it to be special, um, it's not out of our reach, and uh, it's exciting. It's exciting. What is it? What's it like just dealing with the, you know, the number of new guys to try and, you know, be a cohesive unit by the yeah. time the season rolls around? It's got to be a challenge for you. But I would say uh, a good challenge. I think it's something that, um, as a group of people coming together from all different areas, um, it's something exciting and it's a good challenge. Um, I think coming back earlier, uh, the way we did, deciding to come back, you know, 10 days earlier for captain's practice, would certainly give us an advantage um, and gives us a, a jump ahead to get to know each other even better. What's the, you know, is there any carryover? Obviously, you're disappointed as a group last year with the way things went, but. Does that carry over to this season at all, or do you guys put that past you easily? Certainly not. I mean, um, I would say personally for each individual that played last season, uh, it's kind of a little chip on the shoulder to come back. Um, but definitely as a new team coming back this season with a bunch of new individuals, it's certainly something that we don't even look at. What do you think of that matchup with uh, UNO on Saturday, the two Division One schools here in the city? So exciting. I mean, just even uh, as, a, as a person that just would like to watch soccer in the community, I think it's a fantastic opportunity to come out and watch two really uh, prominent programs. You know, had a great year last year, um, a new head coach this year. Um, so I would say um, it's going to be a fun summer night Saturday to come out and watch some soccer. What's, what's uh, captain's practice like? Captain's practice is um, just getting to know the guys, come out, get touches, feel, feel the ball, get to know each other, names, where you're on the field. Um, uh, it, it's something that you want to come out as a new player and old player, improve yourself and into your position. The sooner that we can get roles down, the better off we're going to be. Um, and so captain's practice is the opportunity to do that, so we get to jump ahead. But I'm guessing no coaches, is that right? Or No coaches. Yeah. It's, it's captain led by Mitch Legro and Joel Reistran, and we all decided to come back early and, and get this going together. Um, and it, it couldn't have been gone more fantastic. Yeah. Coming off of last season, uh, you know, ending up very short and and just ending up not as we wanted to. I think we've rather than seeing it as a disappointment uh, this year, we can see it. We can see it as a learning lesson, and I think we're really, as uh, Hawkinson here said, through the captain's practice, we've been able to um, work on the details that we felt were not there last year, and I. I could not be more excited as of right now. I think uh, the team is looking great already, not even started preseason. I'm very confident, yeah. Do you feel like you guys have a little bit to prove? You know, I mean, there's not a whole lot of respect in the coaches' poll voting and all that stuff. Does that matter to you guys, or, or does it give you a little extra motivation? Maybe? I don't think it matters at all, to be honest. Um, as we've touched on before, it's a completely different team. Uh, with a core group from last year, but coaches, polls, 
rankings, you know, it's all opinion, opinionated. So we know what we can do out there. So I, I would say it might be a little motivational to to want to get revenge, but overall I would say we, we know what we're capable of. With so many new faces, how important is it to kind of welcome the new guys and make them feel like they're a part of this thing from the get-go? It, it's, it's very important. I think this year we've had the luck to have a really good group. Uh, we have a we have people from all over the world and it kind of makes it a little exciting you know no one is the same and everyone contributes in in their own way and everyone is ready everyone is ready to go even though you're new or if you're a returner there's a commitment this year um, that i have not seen for a while which is very exciting the matchup with you and i want saturday night what do you think about that it's a good game it's a good game um, Rather than focusing on you know and whether it's a derby or whatever you want to call it, I just think it's a very good uh, opportunity for us to to prove uh, who we are this year and to show everyone that we we're not joking around this year.